Hurricane Irene slammed into Puerto Rico Wednesday, causing massive flooding and ripping up streets. On the U.S. mainland, many tourists and locals along North Carolina's barrier islands played it safe and packed up. The city says it's playing it safe, too, activating its emergency operations center. It's uh, close enough at this point that we need to take these preparatory steps. City, state, and federal agencies, as well as nonprofit groups and public utilities, are coordinating and planning for the most severe possible outcome a Category 1 hurricane clobbering the five boroughs. That could mean evacuations from the low lying coastal areas in what's called Zone A, which mostly includes the lower tip of Manhattan, Red Hook, and Coney Island, Brooklyn, portions of the Rockaways in Queens, and parts of Staten Island. No matter what happens, there's likely to be some significant impacts from this storm in terms of rain and winds. The impact, though, according to city officials, will likely come from a tropical storm arriving on Saturday. We just got off a call with all of the major operations agencies uh, to go through critical operations. The public face of this coordinated planning is a dramatic difference from the city's delayed response to last December's big blizzard. It left the city paralyzed with emergency services and roads frozen for hours and in some cases days. Mayor Bloomberg admitted mistakes were made. The city says it will keep the public informed now through constant communication, but it's up to all individuals as well to pay attention to the news in order to take the appropriate steps. Michael Hertzenberg, New York One.